everybody, my name is Gina, and same as Jordan, we were just asked to be facilitators. And just to remind you all that this is your process, and in the spirit of that process, anybody who's interested in being a facilitator or being part of the facilitator process, starting tomorrow at noon, there will be a training for those interested in being up here, as well as a meeting for facilitators at 10 and another meeting at 5.30. If you're interested in that process, please go to the information group where they where they will announce where those locations for the meetings are. Thank you. So before we get started, we just want to do a little introduction about the facilitation process, about what to expect for those of you who may or may not be familiar with how the GA assembly sort of runs. And to start, we want to announce by the fact that the GA has actually not come to a consensus about what sort of consensus model to use. <laughs> so what we're utilizing in the interim of that, because we really welcome a decision on that, it makes our job a lot easier and makes it better for you. But for now, we're using what's called a practical consensus model. It's the simplest model of consensus. It's sort of a common sense model where basically we take a straw poll where people raise their hands of support or not support and we get an idea of the majority. We are asking to sort of reserve blocks. You can use a block if you're so impassioned to do so, but because we're a simple model, we're asking that the block is really indicated to show an extreme objection, but we would like to really utilize the block as a way to facilitate more conversation, to get something more progressive going in the dialogue, to get a decision that really meets everyone's needs. Does that part make sense? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, Jordan here, and Tess is going to be our stack taker this evening, and we're going to just really quickly talk about symbols for the process. So the first thing is to discuss supporting. Does everybody know what to do when you like something? Does everyone see that? We're twinkling. What do we do when we don't support something? Okay. And what do we do when people, well, we want to be nice, but they're rambling? And points of process. Can everyone see that? Direct response. And a block. And the next thing we're going to use, this is sort of new we're introducing, is a point of clarification. It's like the letter C. And I'm going to quickly discuss some of these because there's some confusion over what these truly mean. So the first thing is a point of clarification is supposed to be in direct a question about the nature of something being said in that moment. It is not an additional comment. It is not an argument. It's not a discussion. The point of clarification is there's something that's being said that is hindering your ability to either understand what's being said or you can't make a decision on it until something is 